Hi everyone, this is Prema, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, KSO College of Arts and Science for Women, Thirshangur. In this video, we are going to learn about Java programming. In this, we are going to discuss about graphics programming. First, we are going to see about what is graphics programming. One of the most important features of Java is the ability to draw graphics. We can write Java applet that draw lines, figures of different shapes, images and text in a different font and style. We can also incorporate different colors in display. Every applet has its own area of a screen known as canvas where it creates its display. A Java applet draw graphical images inside its space using coordinate system. A Java coordinate system has origin 0, 0,0 in the upper left corner. A positive x values are to the right and a positive y, y values are to the bottom. The values of coordinates x and y are in the pixel. Next we are going to discuss about the graphics classes. Graphics classes includes, includes methods for drawing many different types of shapes. To draw a shapes on the screen, we may can call one of the methods available in the graphics classes. The following are the most commonly used method in a graphic classes. These are the some drawing methods of the graphic classes. They are clear rect method used to clear the rectangular area. Copy area method is used to copy a rectangular area of the canvas to the another area. Draw arc method used to draw a arc. Draw line method used to draw straight line. Draw oval method is used to draw oval shape. Draw polygon method is used to draw polygon shape. Draw rect method is used to draw a rectangular shape. Next we are going to see about managing input and output files in Java. A file is a collection of record placed in a particular area on the disk. A record is composed of several fields in is a group of characters. A characters in Java are Unicode characters composed of two bytes. Each byte contains eight binary digits, one or zero. Storing and managing data using file is known as file processing, which includes tasks such as creating a files, updating files, and manipulating manipulation of a data. Java supports many features for managing input and output of a data using file. The process of uh, reading and writing an object is called serialization. Next we are going to discuss about concept of streams. In a file processing, input refers to the flow of data into a program and output means the flow of data out of the program. Input to a program may come from the keyboard, mouse, a memory, disk and network or a other program. Output from program may go to the screen, printer, the memory and disk or a another program. Next we are going to discuss about byte stream classes. A byte stream classes have been designed to provide functional future for creating and manipulating a streams and file reading for a a file, a file for reading and writing a byte. Since the streams are unidirectional, they can transmit bytes in a only one direction. Java provides two kinds of byte stream classes. They are input stream classes and output stream classes. First, we are going to discuss about input stream methods. Reading bytes, closing stream, ma making position in the stream, skipping ahead in a stream, finding the number of bytes in a stream. These are the input stream method. Next, we are going to discuss about output stream. Output stream includes a method that are designed to perform a following tasks. They are writing bytes, closing a stream and flushing a streams. Next, we are going to discuss about creating a file. If we want to create and use a disk file, we need to decide the following about the file and its in unintended purposes. Suitable name for the file, data type to store, purpose, uh, it may can open as a reading, writing or updating. Method, method of creating the file, a file name is unique string of a character that helps to identify the files on the disk. 
Next we are going to see about random access files. Files can be used either for read only or write only operation and, or, and not for a both purpose simultaneously. These files are read or written only sequential and therefore are known as a sequential file. A random access file class is supported by the java.io packages allows, allows us to create a files that can be used for reading and writing a data with a random access. Such a files are known as random access files. A file can be created and opened for a random access by giving a mode string as a parameter to the constructor. When we open a file, we can use, use one of the following two mode strings. R is for reading only. RW is for both reading and writing. An existing file can be appended by using RW mode. Thank you.